Now, that's definitely a shocking spike in cases. It certainly is. And joining us now to explain what the COVID situation looks like at our local hospitals is Mara Bryant, the operations executive for Adventist Health White Memorial Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, Mara. Now you oversee you oversee the COVID treatment at Adventist Health in the city of Boyle Heights. Mm -hmm. Have you recently seen a surge in cases at your hospital? We are definitely seeing an increase in positive cases. We haven't seen an increase in hospitalization, so I think that's really good news. Um, we've spent a lot of time vaccinating our neighborhood. Our hospital administered over 60,000 vaccines here in Boyle Heights in the inner city neighborhood, trying to give us um, a little bit more protection in this next variant wave. Uh, Mara, what's the hospital doing right now to be ready for Omicron patients? Our command center is really focusing to make sure that all of our systems and our supplies um, that we have the right pharmaceuticals, the right treatments, the antibody treatments all available and that all those systems are working perfectly. You know, we really got hit hard in the November through um, March timeframe um, and had over 200 patients in house at one time. And right now I only have, you know, less, we have nine patients today. So I feel very fortunate right now but just trying to make sure that all of our systems and supplies are ready should the um, cases of hospitalizations increase. And this new variant just uh, really hit us so fast, Mara. So do you expect the hospital to undertake any new measures in the coming weeks with the rising numbers we have? You know, we definitely are um, being very careful here on campus. Uh, we will continue to allow um, visitors, but starting to look at that possibility we do see our own staff getting sick. So our, just like in the county, our own staff, we had about a doubling of our staff that tested positive today versus yesterday. And most of it from family gatherings on the outside. So really emphasizing, making sure they all get their booster shots and we're pushing booster shots really heavily here on campus to protect people and make sure that they um, do well through this next wave. Well, Mara, you already talked about fewer hospitalizations this time around. Is this wave different than previous coronavirus cases, uh, coronavirus waves, that is, and other ways that you see so far? You know, so far it has been very different. So um, we saw a very deadly wave in the first, um, in 2021, and in the beginning of um, this year, and we're in 2022 now, or almost in 2022. <laughs> So we are seeing a very different pattern right now. Um, the patients that are coming in, if they're unvaccinated, um, they are getting sick and they are ending up in the ICU or in um, our telemetry unit. But much more just being in our telemetry unit, not requiring that intensive care and those high amounts of oxygen that we saw the first time, even if they just had one shot, we're just seeing them um, fare through this better than the last wave. Well, Mara Bryant must say that that is uh, some encouraging news anyway, certainly more positive than at last time we spoke. So we want to thank you again for coming in and happy holidays to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mara.